Hello everyone, we're here with Dwight Hammond. He is a portrait artist and he is now showcasing at the photo gallery. We're gonna ask him a couple of questions and be sure to check out the photo YouTube channel. So Dwight, welcome to the photo gallery. Thank you for having me. So who is Dwight Hammond as a portrait artist? Uh, that's a very interesting question because um, the answer to that, I, I'm not sure what it is because it's something that I kind of fell back into um, as far as, uh, you know, my art skills and trying to improve my art skills. I've always had a little skill in, in I can remember in my art classes um, in school, in elementary school. I remember one class in particular where uh, the teacher had us to draw our a neighbor or whatever one uh, we had to pair up and draw each other and the young lady I had uh, when I drew a picture she had like buck teeth and everything so I, I whenever I drew the picture the picture kind of looked like her but when I put the buck teeth in there it really looked like her and I felt real bad because I thought that was kind of a negative image of her but my, my teacher informed me that no, it wasn't. I said because sometimes you have things like that that you do that really makes the photo uh, look like the person because it is a real feature. It's not like you're adding something to the picture that that's not there. So that taking that in mind is my approach to the way I do my drawings now. I draw what I see. Oh, so okay. It's a thing where if it's there, and I'm, I'm sorry if it's a, if you don't like that particular feature of your face or whatever, but if it's there, I'm drawing it. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm coming into this as an artist. Um, uh, I'm really enjoying it right now. It's not a real big business for me right now, but I'm taking it uh, <clears throat> as it comes. And so uh, all my work that I've done is just a, a, a work of pleasure, uh, leisure. Uh, it's been something that's been relaxing for me. And uh, so I guess I'm coming into form as an artist. Nice. Um, just so everyone knows, everything behind Dwight is his portrait uh, that he's done. Uh, his father's there, his mother's there, and he's sitting under his self-portrait, his wife, and his wife's family, his son, and his uncle. So the next question is, when did you actually realize that you were an artist? Well, um, Actually, I, I would say that's recently because when I started back in uh, 2011, um, what, what triggered all this is that I was sitting at my counter, uh, my kitchen counter. I saw my son's sixth grade photo sitting there and I decided that let me just you know try to draw this because I've always liked drawing, but I just never did it. So I drew the picture and it was a raw, very raw picture of him. And I knew that it's like, what well, is it's, it, it needs a lot of work and everything, but it looked like him. But that kind of triggered me to try to just improve. I don't know why it just happened. It's just, uh, I, at that point, I decided that I wanted to get better at drawing. And so I, I did the thing of going out on YouTube and learning how to draw. I draw eyes, how to draw lips, ears, putting the whole face together. And um, this is where I am today. After all that is, is what I'm being able to create today. That's sort of part of my next question okay. <laughs> about uh, whether or not you had formal training. So you went to YouTube University. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you went on to say that you uh, did a lot of, uh, found a lot of features that you improved on by mm -hmm. going on YouTube. Yes. Okay. So that's the only um, formal training that you've had. Yeah. Um, I've, I've also, um, there, I had a couple of friends that were artists and I used to look at their art and that's where I think I got most of my inspiration to be as good as them or to be like them. Um, you know, these are actually friends of mine that have been doing art for a while. And I think that's what kind of really spurred me to really get to the point where I'm at least that good at it. And yeah, so I did, I went out, like I said, the learning of these the different skill sets, the shadings, the how to, like I said, draw the different pieces of the face, the face, facial structures. And there's a lot of things in going into making a portrait look like someone. So, um, but yeah, uh, 
that's kind of the only other outside of the, the YouTube training that I looked at other artists to try to emulate uh, the style. I, there was a, and what style uh, intrigued me the most was the real, the, the drawings that look real, that you could look at them and you could not quite tell whether it was a, a photo or if it was something that, uh, it was just a real looking picture. It's, it's, some drawings look like drawings. Right. And I not just wanted to make mine to question whether it was a real photo or whether it was a drawing. Being so realistic. Being a realistic drawing. That was, that's my goal. So do you remember the first piece of art you sold and who you sold it to? Ooh. Um, the first piece that I sold, um, there was a young lady that saw my, um, my artwork at my church that wanted me. She had a friend of hers that uh, had recently passed and she gave me a picture of the obituary and wanted me to draw that picture for her and for her daughter to present to her daughter so yes I did that one uh, that was the first piece that I uh, I was commissioned actually to draw it and, and, and present to the young lady oh okay mm -hmm. um next question what artists <clears throat> are you inspired by or who do you get your inspiration from do you have any particular uh, artists that you follow? Or? Well, that's what I was telling you, that uh, there's, a, there's a guy that went to school with me called Michael Berry. Uh, he was the one that really started to initially encourage me in my drawings. And I actually looked up to him and asked him if he could kind of be a mentor for me uh, in my drawings. And he was able to, I would do drawings and uh, he would look at them and be, and would kind of critique my drawings and telling me maybe there's some things I could do to make it better or those kind of things. And that helped me a long way into where I am today. Nice. Yeah. Okay, what advice would you give up and coming artists? The only advice is, is that just enjoy it. I mean, don't make it a job. You know, uh, even though uh, when people commission you to do work, it is a job, but it doesn't, that puts more pressure for the drawing to be perfect. But I think um, if you have the thing of, of perfection and I'm the biggest critic, I think of all my drawings because people look at that and look at my drawings and say, oh, that's real nice, but I can look at it and see defects. And I think that's a skill set that, you know, I think all artists should possess, you know, and that's one I have. And I think as long as they, they enjoy what they're doing and not make it, uh, a stress point, you know, then art is the best, is the best way to relax. And, uh, in times of COVID <laughs> when there's nothing to do, to sit down and draw was, was therapeutic. Okay. What's next on your agenda after, you know, you, this show, you have anything lined up? Uh, nothing lined up. I have a, uh, commission to do a book cover, uh, that I'm currently working on. And uh, right now, I think that's about 70% done. So I'll see how that work turns out and everything. And, um, but yeah, I'm open to now, uh, I feel more comfortable in my skill set right now to offer my skill set as, you know, for commission work. And I think that's where I am now with it. Oh, that, that book cover sounds exciting. So please um, swing back by and let us know how that goes. <laughs> sure will. So, um, two more questions. Um, this is next to the last one. Where can we find you on social media? On social media, it's just right now I'm on Facebook and, I, and I'm on uh, Instagram under Dwight Hammond, Dwight Jerome Hammond. On, it's Dwight Jerome Hammond on Facebook and just Dwight uh, Dot Hammond on uh, Instagram. But um, So I don't have an, a formal page or uh, website or anything like that set up yet. Right now, like I'm in the stage of getting to that point, but I'm not there yet. All right. Well, we look forward to you getting to that point. Okay. <laughs> so the final question is, how would you rate your experience here at the photo gallery? The um, the photo gallery has been an eye-opening experience for me because um, before I had this opportunity, I had not. Uh, displayed my work. I had not, my, some of my work has been displayed in my house, but to see all my work displayed in the fashion that has been done here 
it's really uh, encouraging. And it's why it did open up uh, an idea that once this is done, this is kind of what I need to do in my house as far as displaying my uh, artwork. And it's, it's, it's encouraging to keep drawing at the same time because some people can draw and they create all this great stuff that stays in the pad. You know, they never, the world never gets a chance to see what they do or how great it is. And this was good to see the comments, the, you know, the encouragement that I've gotten from people coming through that uh, know nothing about me or my work. And to hear that what their initial reaction is to what I've done uh, was very encouraging. So yeah, this is something that now encourages me to continue into this um, art thing. And um, who knows what the future is gonna hold right now. Well, Dwight, thank you so much for uh, presenting your artwork here at the photo gallery. We have definitely enjoyed you, and I'm so excited to add you to the group of artists who have been here in the past, okay. and we look forward to what you have going on in the future. So again, everyone, this is Dwight Hammond, and if you need a self-portrait, oh, excuse me, if you need a portrait, Please look <laughs> up uh, uh, Dwight, Dwight on Dwight Hammond on social media, Facebook or Instagram. Yes. Until the next time, this is the photo gallery.